Hey, it's Jason Hartwell at Zek Ford. Today we're going to talk about Android Auto. I'm going to tell you what it is and how to use it in your new Ford vehicle. So what is Android Auto? So Android Auto allows you to put some of the functions of your phone on the screen on your car. So your maps, navigation, you'll be able to put on the display of your Ford vehicle. So if you bought a car and it doesn't have navigation, you can actually use the navigation of your phone on your car. It'll act just like the car navigation. You'll see all the maps on the screen of your car, and you'll get the turn-by-turn -turn directions right over your speakers. Now, you can also use it for things like uh, sending text messages by voice, dictating them out, and listening to incoming text messages. That way, you can keep your hands on the wheel while you're driving and not looking at your phone trying to read a text while you're driving. We all know how dangerous that is. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is install Android Auto on your phone. So just go to the Play Store and search for Android Auto. Go ahead and install that and get it downloaded and install it. Once it's installed, go ahead and open it up and hit the settings cog at the top and make sure you enable auto enable new vehicles. That's going to allow you to plug in your phone to a new vehicle and have it pick up automatically. You also need to make sure that Android Auto is turned on in the car. So just hit the settings and scroll over to you see Android Auto Preferences and then hit Enable Android Auto. Once you have Android Auto installed on your phone and turned on in the car, all you need to do is plug in your phone using a USB cable to the USB port in the car. And you'll see you'll get some warnings that pop up on the car and on your phone. Just go ahead and click through all of them, agree to share permissions and whatever other options it gives you. So we hit continue here on the car and agree. And then on the phone, we're going to hit accept and accept here and allow any permissions. And then agree to the safety warning. And that's it. Now you're all hooked up to Android Auto and ready to start using it. So now I'm going to show you some of the things that you can actually do with Android Auto. So this is the main screen of Android Auto. And you can see you've got the five icons down below. The uh, first one is for your maps. Now this car doesn't have navigation. It is just pulling the maps from the phone. Second icon is for your phone. This goes back to the main screen, the middle of button there that just shows you your recent notifications, weather, um, uh, missed phone calls, things like that. Headphone icon is for your music. It has Google Play, iHeart, and Spotify on there. And the last button is to go back to sync if you want to go back to your standard car controls. We're going to go back into Android Auto. And I'm going to show you how well this works. Now the nice thing is that you can use your voice uh, for controlling your phone and controlling your maps as you normally would with uh, Google Now. So to give you an example, you're going to hit the voice button on the steering wheel. And if I want to get just uh, get directions, I'll just ask for directions. How do I get to Nebraska Furniture Mart from here? Nebraska Furniture Mart is 22 minutes from your location by car in light traffic. So you can see the route that it wants me to take. I can change uh, change route there if I want to uh, go an alternate route. And once I uh, decide the way I want to go, just hit that direction again and it'll start Head giving me directions. South 4th Street toward Muncie Terrace. So that's probably my favorite feature on Android Auto. Uh, the other thing, of course, is if you get text messages, you can have them read to you, or you can uh, dictate text messages. Uh, if you're driving and you, man, i got to send somebody a text. You know how dangerous that is, trying to text while you're driving. You absolutely shouldn't do it. Well, here you can do that just by using your voice. I'll give you an example. Send text to April. Text April. Sure. What's the message? I love you. Here's your text to April. I love you. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Okay. Message sent. And probably the other biggest feature on here is you connecting to your music. 
You should reach your destination by 10.45 a.m. I listen to Spotify, and it's nice to be able to control the music by voice. So I'll just have it play some music using my voice. Play Van Halen on Spotify. Okay, asking to play Van Halen. You see that just pulls uh, Van Halen right up. Now, I could have said the name of a song to play or an album. Uh, it doesn't have to be a, just an artist. Now your volume controls on the steering wheel work. I can sit, skip songs using the buttons on my steering wheel. Yeah, if I click right here on the music button, you can scroll and see some of the other music by Van Halen. Now when you're driving, if I was actually driving, it wouldn't let me scroll except maybe once. And they wouldn't tell me that it's not safe to do that while I'm driving. So that's kind of a nice feature, trying to keep you safe. So I'm just going to go home here. Now some of the other nice things, uh, when you're driving, there's a million things you can do with the voice control through Google. You can ask for directions, where's the nearest gas station, gas station prices. Uh, I can ask what the weather is going to be like. What's the weather for tomorrow? In Leavenworth tomorrow, it'll be cloudy with a high of 71 degrees and a low of 63 degrees. Who do the Chiefs play? Kansas City Chiefs are playing Oakland Raiders on Sunday at 3.05 p.m. So I could have asked for a score if they actually played this week. Uh, so you do sports scores, schedules, movies, just anything that you do by voice on Google, you'll be able to do through the uh, using the voice button on your phone. Now, all of the 2017 Fords that have the Sync 3 system already have Android Auto on them. Now, the great news is that the 2016s that have Sync 3 are getting an update later this year that will allow you to use Android Auto on those as well. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give us a like if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. You can also reach us on our website at zekford.com. Thanks again for watching. Oh, hey, you're still here. Hey, while you're here, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button? That way you see more great videos from us. Go on, I'll wait, I'll wait, go ahead. I'm still waiting to, no, just hit the button, it's right there. Hit the button and like it.